Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and this is Let's Make Art and we are here for a fun project to do together. Today we are doing this fun sunset. Oh, oh. So excited to be doing this with you. The supplies that I'd like you to grab out to do this with me are start with your crayons. So there are so many different colors of the rainbow, so whatever colors you have. We're gonna be creating this sunset, so maybe a green and a yellow and some orange, so in that sort of color palette. Also, suns can be, you can make this here, whatever color. Yeah, could be on a different planet. We don't know what those look like. Yeah, you're right. I know. <laughs> Keenan's right. Oh, and if you hear his voice in the background, that's Keenan. Keenan, hi there. Reporting for duty. <laughs> We're all doing this together. So grab your crayons and then the watercolors. So if you have your own watercolors, grab those out. The colors I suggest to have are either a red or a magenta a yellow, this is our deep yellow, and then a blue, so that's our Tahoe blue. And then the paper, I am using half of a sheet, so this is a full sheet. I'm using half of a sheet because you will notice that we are going to be doing, we're going to be doing two different ones. So this is the daytime view, and then the next one that you can watch after is going to be the nighttime view. So that's why I used half of the paper. Then I taped it down. I used blue painter's tape. You can also use washi tape if you do have our box. I like to do that to have it stationary, have it sit sitting there so it won't move around. Then, before we dive in, I would like you all to, we're gonna do our motto together. So this is something that we do together as a, as a family. So if you can raise your right hand, Keenan's doing it too, and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> and then you can high five if you're doing this with someone. <laughs> so that's just our fun way to get, get ready, get in the zone. And now, oh, actually, I have another fun thing to say. So many fun things is if you have our zine, we are doing something where... We're playing bingo together as well. We're just, we're doing all these fun things. So if you have our zine, we are playing this game. So if you hear me say any of these words, I'll probably say sun, I already said crayon. What you could do is you can draw that inside. So if you want to do that along with us as well, just wanted oh, to remind you. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's just a fun way that we can all play more games together. Okay, now the first step is we are going to draw the hills. So I'm gonna use green, your hills can also be brown, or like Keenan and I said, if you wanna make it another color. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my crayon, and I'm going to draw basically two curves. So I'm gonna start on this side, which is the left side of my, my uh, piece of paper, and then I'm gonna draw a curve. And then from there, I'm gonna start about here. You could start anywhere along here, but I'm gonna touch and start from this curve and draw another one going to the right and to the end there. So those are my hills. Then I'm gonna take the yellow crayon and draw my bright, shiny sun. And it's as if the sun is popping up behind. So we all know the sun is circular, but we're gonna draw it as if the, we don't see, we only see part of it. So that's why I'm gonna start here on the left and then go to the right and I'm drawing that same shape. So I'm just drawing a curve. So what's happening is that this whole sun, pretend like it's behind and that's where you would see the circle. It's just waking up. Yeah. It's hiding it's behind like, its sheets and the sheets are the hills. <laughs> yes, like you do probably when you wake up. And you're like, I don't wanna wake up yet. That's exactly what I do. That is you, that's what we're drawing. Then, I am, I'm gonna color that in, so I'm just gonna color in my sun. Let's do that, add my curve, fix my curve a little bit. Okay, then the, oh, I forgot to say this in the supplies. Grab your magic white crayon. This is such a fun tool, and so what we're gonna do is I'm going to draw the sun rays. So what that means is that from my sun, I'm going to draw a line that goes from the sun to the edge of my paper and continue around. So I'm gonna move over here and then do the same thing. So I know you don't see any lines and on your own paper you won't see lines, but you will. So that's the fun magic part of this. So I'm drawing a line and I'm going to the edge. So you, as I'm going around, if you're looking at this, if you're wondering how to draw your lines, I'm keeping going around 
And when I'm doing that, I'm going to a different part of the paper. So I'm kind of moving this way. So think of it as like if you look at a clock and it goes like this, that's what you're drawing. So draw those lines with your magic white crayon. So it will look like this. Then we are going to use our watercolors. So you've used your crayons. Now, if you have your watercolors, if you have a palette or a plate, you will notice that I only, you don't need very much. So just do a few drops. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to make orange. Cause you'll notice looking at this is we have yellow and we have the magenta, which are the two colors we started with. So we're gonna make orange. And the way to do that is to do, let's say, let's do two drops of magenta and two drops or maybe two or three of yellow. And when you mix that together, you are going to get orange. What? Woo! That almost looks like ketchup. <laughs> like a watery ketchup. It does. It totally, it doesn't smell like it, but it could be it. So it smells good. If <laughs> that's the fun part is that you, we started with two colors and we made a third one. So that's the fun thing about watercolors is that you can make so many more colors. Then the other one that while we're in this mixing mode, I want to show you how to make green because right now we don't have green in our cut within our colors, but I want to make our hills green. So I'm going to spin my palette around and I have blue and I have yellow. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, I have my blue actually, and I'm just going to add to this blue right now. So I have my blue and then I'm going to add some yellow. And when I do that, oh, wrong side of the brush, is, oh, I would make sure if you just made orange, make sure you wash your brush, clean it off, and then I'm gonna mix this together. Voila. Now, voila, voila, magic. <laughs> now we have green. What? Now, so we just made a whole other color and that's what we're gonna use for our hills. So once you have your colors mixed, then, we're ready to have fun. We are going to, let's see, let's start with the, the background. So we're gonna paint a really pretty sunset. And so when you think about this, you can either start, let's see, I'm trying to think of what would be easiest. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the top so then my hand doesn't, doesn't get it wet. Doesn't smear it. Oh, so you don't get paint on your hand. Yeah, that's Because you that's start it. from the bottom You'll have all I'm that like, paint yeah. you're going to smear across the paper and your arm will get messy. And Which I have paint all the time. So if it does, I would just make sure that your, your areas, it's okay mm. if it gets everywhere. Maybe you should wash your hands. Calling me out. <laughs> <laughs> wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my magenta or my pink because I want that to be this really pretty pink color up at the top. And so when I'm doing that, I'm just moving my arm back and forth across. If you need to go and pick up more, you could do that. If you want to add some water and paint around, you can do that as well. These are water colors, so they need a little bit of water. So they're I'm just thirsty. Gonna, they're thirsty, you're right. And can you see how the sun rays are starting to show up? The crayon sun rays. The magic is starting to show up. So as I'm going to down, I'm going to start to transition and transition means move into the next color. So I'm starting from magenta and I'm gonna spin my wheel and I'm gonna go to my orange and I'm going to overlap over that color. So overlap over the magenta. Overlap, you mean like go back into the magenta? Yes, so overlap means just painting on top of it. Okay. So I'm mixing them together on the paper. Ooh and I'm moving down again. So I'm just painting across, you're just gonna move your hand right and left. And so you will see that it created, it's actually created its own, a new color right there. That is pretty. So you'll get a whole new color. And then, so I'm gonna keep going a little bit, going down. Is this a sunrise or a sunset? Oh, it's up for interpretation. What are you feeling? 
I'm not sure. I kind of feel like it's a sunrise because yeah, of the rays. Cause he's, and because we said that. Oh, it's that's like, right. He's waking up. That's true. The sun's waking up. I know up. we might have talked about it. <laughs> so then when you moved a little bit more down the page, I'm going to now spin and I'm going to go to my yellow. And so then I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to paint a little bit on top. So it's creating, again, a new color. And then I'm going to paint all the way down. So that is how you create this, this fun, smooth effect of one color to the next. Now, I need to get a little bit more paint. I'm going to paint continue to just sweep my hand across the page and I have my sun let's see if you want to make your sun yellow you can paint it inside if you want to make it maybe a little bit of orange you can add that in there this is your sun you can paint it whatever color you would like but I'm gonna paint that nice fun okay oh well it's missing a little, little sun ray right there. Or there's some extra spot. Oh, I'm gonna add a new, another one later. So if you ever see spots, you're like, oh, where's the sun ray? We're gonna add more later. If you had that thought like I just did. Okay, then, you know what I realized, everyone, is I didn't draw my flowers. So I did the whole sunset, but what I also wanna show you is if you're looking at this, I drew some flowers with the white crayon as well. So I'm gonna go and do that right now I'm gonna go back to my white crayon and I'm gonna add some flowers so if you want to add you can add grass if you just want to add lines or you can add a flower and so when you're doing a flower let me show you so flower can be really simple let's see I'll do it in green to show you so I'm gonna draw a circle when I'm doing a flower a circle and then I'm just gonna draw curves that connect to the circle you can have three you can have four you can have five those are the petals. Those so are your like three-leaf clover. Oh, yeah. And it's green. Luck of the Irish. <laughs> Except isn't it four? Isn't it four? Mm, it might be four. You might know more than we do. Mm. <laughs> but so that's what I'm drawing is I'm drawing that shape. So I'm using doing that with my white crayon. Oh, and then if you want to draw the stem, which is the line down there. And then if you want to draw a leaf, because on flowers there's leaves, is we're drawing that same thing of drawing a curve and then connecting the curve. So think of it like an eyeball. And then you can draw a line in the middle. So there's your leaf. So that is what I'm gonna be drawing here. So again, you won't see what I'm doing, but I'm doing that in the magic white crayon to draw my flowers. Maybe I'll draw a few over here. Then, oh, a flower is definitely a bingo word. It it's is. in there somewhere. So, I need my own bingo chart. Oh, I need to get you one so that yes. you can. Okay. I don't have a zine. <laughs> then, okay, so I did that. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to spin my wheel and I have my green. We are going to the, do the same thing where I'm going to. Hit, put my paintbrush in the watercolor and then I'm going to paint this. So then I mean, if you need some more water, you can pick up that. And so watercolors are this really pretty paint that just glides across the page. And if you, oh, there it is. I, was like, I forgot that that's there. The flowers are showing up. If you want, so if you're thinking, Nicole, my my uh, my hills are different colors. Maybe they're more of like a yellow green. If you want to do that, what you can do is I'll show you a trick. Is if I have my green, I'm gonna have green a lot of green on my paintbrush. Oh, Ooh. whoa! If this happens to you, it's okay. I'm just using water. I use water. Just going like that. Fixed it. Nice. Okay. But I was gonna say is if you want to make a yellow green, take some of your green and then just add more yellow to it. So we made a whole nother color. So I want you to have fun with making whatever color you would like, making any color. Pretty. 
So it mixes it up. And then here's the other fun thing about watercolors I want to show you is if you have your painting and you decide, oh, I want green, you can just paint it on top of it in different spots. And it kind of does this a cool exploding thing. Oh, yeah. You can also put water oh, down yeah. first. If you have water, oh, yeah. So I kind of added water there and it exploded. Or what Keenan's saying is I just paint it with water and then I add some watercolors in there. Oh, maybe that's like grass popping up. There we go. So fun. So fun. So once you are done with that, we're going to let it dry because you could tell it's really, really wet. So the next layer that we're going to do is we are going to add more color on top of it. So you will see that I painted some of the flowers orange. We added more rays. So I would pause and then maybe go take a quick break and then we'll meet you back in a few minutes when this is fully dry. Go get a fruit snack. <laughs> yes, let's do that. We'll meet you back here in a second. And we're back. <laughs> so now we're gonna work on putting this jar down and I'm gonna give Nicole her seat back so she can finish this tutorial. <laughs> That's the cameraman. We just thought it'd be funny just to, to play a little trick. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, but you took a break. You're back here with us. Hopefully your painting is dry. If you're wondering, is it dry, is it not, do the, do the finger test and just poke it a little bit. If it's even a little bit damp, so if it's a little wet, I would just give it a few more minutes. If it's fully dry, you can touch it, then you're good to go. Last step is we're going to add some color on top of our painting. So I'm gonna grab my orange, you can grab your red or a different color, and I'm gonna add a few more rays just cause I feel like it. Yeah. So I'm gonna add in between the yellow, or that's not yellow, that is white. That is white. <laughs> I'm adding a few more sun rays. Oh, that's so pretty. So it just makes it come to life even more. And the fun thing is that actually in this space right here, if you want, I was thinking about it, I, this was another example that I did. I think I'm gonna draw a little butterfly just to show uh. you how you can add more on top of it. So if I, I were to draw a butterfly, I'm gonna draw a, the body, so it's like a curve like that. And then I'm gonna take my purple, I'm gonna draw a curve and a curve. And then, so I'm drawing the wings, and then another curve. Now you have a cute little butterfly. So cute. You can color it in if you'd like. You can add a pattern to it. Oh, can't forget the antennas. Oh yeah, they've got to be able to. You've got to feel around. Feel. Feel. Smell. Smell. Here. Here. All the senses. Damn. I don't know. All twelve <laughs> senses. <laughs> So you do a little butterfly, and then if you want, you can add more flowers to your garden. If you want to make them color, I'm gonna add some yellow. Maybe they're, let's see, maybe they're orange petals. Some to color over that. This is your garden, this is your painting. You get to paint it whatever color you want. So if you want to add a few more, maybe you do another stem and a leaf. Then draw the curves like I was showing you in the beginning. So draw more, more like that. So you can bring this. Can you see how just by adding color on top of it, it just brought it to life. It makes it alive. Yeah. It makes it the nature area. The nature. So this is your nature scape as if you were just waking up, like we said in the beginning. And oh, last step is removing your tape. So when you're doing this, I would try and go a little bit slow. If it rips your paper, no worries at all. But you're just gonna remove your tape and see how it makes this really fun border. Oh. Very and cool. And it's nice to watch it peel off. Whew. Taking the tape off. So I'm just pulling away. And 
and then we're done. Woo -woo. You did it. I. Oh, Keenan did a. Yeah. <laughs> We hope you had so much fun here with us. We would love to see what your sunset, what do you look like when you're just waking up? So we have a Facebook group. If you go and grab an adult, they can help you out. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. Yes, that's what it's called. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you can share and then you can see what other kids are doing. So we hope you had so much fun and oh, if you want to, after this, we're going, you can watch another video and we're gonna do a similar thing, but we're gonna make a nighttime version. So we got the daytime and nighttime, so you can do both of them. Okay, Perfect. see you in a little bit.